Hello everyone and welcome to another J. Robinson Art painting peel off project. Today we're going to be painting colorful tulips that has a very abstract background and some beautiful colorful tulips. But before we get started let's just look at the equipment that we have. Off camera I have my cup of water. We provide you with a spatula to remove your peels. We also give you a plastic apron to help protect your clothing. We provide you with two brushes that will help you paint any projects that we provide for you. We also like to give you a paper towel and we give you a half a palette sheet so that you can put your colors on or you can use a styrofoam plate. Now let's talk about the colors we'll be using today. We'll be using yellow, purple, blue, orange, white, and green. A lot of these colors you could actually mix to make a variety of colors. But we'll probably be using most of them straight out of the tube. Let's take a look at the project we'll be doing today. This is our colorful tulips. It's a very easy, very fun painting. I wouldn't say it's on a level one, which is the easiest of our projects. I would give it probably a level three. But it doesn't mean that it's hard or difficult. It just requires a little bit more steps and then just a little bit more creativity. But it's a wonderful painting and it's a great way to learn. So basically what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be painting the background. Then we're going to remove the peels and then paint the individual flowers. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I'll be using my own little brushes here. It doesn't mean that there's anything special about them other than I'm very comfortable with them. They're very beat up. They're very old, but I like them. They help me paint most of the projects that I paint today. If you should have your own brushes, feel free to use those. Incorporate anything that's going to help you be able to push around a few colors and have some fun. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is the background. Now the background is one of those things where I can sit here and tell you specifically what I'm doing. But you just need a general idea because you're not going to be able to or not saying that you're unable to. But you shouldn't try to mimic exactly what I'm doing here. You should be just trying to get a general idea, lay in some colors, let your background be to your desire. What I'm going to start out with is a little yellow. I'm going to push some of that right here in this corner. The next thing I'm going to do is just wipe off my brush a little bit. And then I'm going to pick up some white. I'm going to introduce that right along the edge of where I laid in the yellow. Now I'm going to clean my brush off because I want to remove as much yellow as possible so that I could then indicate some pure white. So let's just grab some more white and let's just add some white all along inside here. I'm just kind of mimic what I'm going to call kind of a, a view from the ground up and you could kind of see the sky a little bit. So I don't want the colors up top to be too dark. I want the darker colors to be more down here. So now let's just grab a little touch of blue. Introduce that right up into this area right here. It's going to be like my sky. And maybe there's some over here. And I don't mind if the colors mix a little bit at this point. I'm just trying to indicate like a kind of a variation of things. See? And then over here, let's just take a maybe a touch of green. With a touch of blue. Let's just add some of that along the side here. It's a really nice color. Put some of that back up in here too. And now, once I once I get kind of like what I'm going to call my, my sky color in, I'm just going to take and clean off my brush really quickly. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Maybe there will be other videos where we talk about backgrounds and skies. But for this video, we're trying to get down to the to the actual flowers. So I'm going to come in here and just soften up some of these edges. Lightly blend those in a little bit. Like that. Wipe this off. Come along this edge here. Lightly blend this in a little bit. There. It's good enough. Now what I want to focus in is down here. Now down here we could just take some straight up blue. Start introducing to some darker values all along this base area here. We could put a little white in there too, just to kind of help push the colors around a little bit easier. And darken it up as we go along. We could throw some, some green into the mix. 
So when it comes to this down here, I'm just trying to create now the area where the stems are going to be, where the lower portion of the of the plants are. So I just really want a series of colors, like a whole lot of different colors to create like darker values down in this area. I'm going to leave this little area here kind of white-ish, but I am going to kind of come off like this a little bit. There, that looks, that's looking good for me. And again, I'm not going fast. I'm just scrubbing the colors because I want this area to be a mixture of colors. I don't want it to be one solid anything. So I'm going to add some blue in various places. Come back and add some purple in various places. It's trying to build up the darkness. Maybe put some green in some places. Add some more blue. Because really all I want is this area to be a hodgepodge of color that kind of blends itself like that. See? Just trying to lay it in there, cover up the divots, keeping it nice and, you know, uh, flat. Because this is just some background distance stuff that's happening down in here. It's important, but not really. What's important is going to be those flowers. Now, this is a good enough backdrop for me. I'm going to take, wipe this off, open this up because I have a lot of color here. See, I don't crinkle up my tissue. I like to make use of it. Get this as dry as I can. And then now let's come in here and kind of softly blend these edges out. Come around here a little bit. Yeah, and it's looking good. Let's bring this up just a little bit. Soften this area, that's fine. Maybe just for GP, before we call it a day, I'm just gonna add some more darker blue right over here. Maybe a little bit more darker blue right over here. Because as the paint dries and the color taps to it, it, it stays darker, stronger. Maybe take a little purple now. To do some of that back in over here, there's a little blue in there. There, it looks good. Take a little green, add some of that in there, wipe this off, and then just slowly blend this in. I just want this to be a soft blend, so I'm just fanning the brush to blend the colors. There you go, that looks good. That looks fine. All right. So now we have our backdrop in. We have our, what I'm calling my kind of skyish looking tone values here. And my, my down below background color down there. Gonna do a final blend. And then we're gonna go right into peeling off and painting those beautiful Flowers, just gonna soften this up just a little bit. That's fine, okay. Now what we're gonna paint in is we're gonna pull some stems. Now here's where you wanna take a look at your peels. So we have quite a few of them. And we're just gonna take some green, maybe take a little blue to darken it up a little bit. Add some yellow, because yellow and blue makes a really nice green. There, that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull some, let's like, for example, here's a peel right here. So I can see that this will be the tip and I'm just going to pull a stem. Take a little yellow. Come down here. Let that just make that brighten up a little bit. There, there's a stem. For one, we don't we don't need our stems to be anything more than just visible. Take a little bit more yellow. Let's come down here. Let's add another dimple. Let's take this one off this way. There. Take a little bit more. There's another one right here. So let's just try to find it. Let's say it goes 
Maybe this one just goes straight down like that. Take some yellow. Now all I'm doing is I'm just creating the look of some stems. When we peel off and paint the flowers, it'll all make more sense. Come here with a little blue. Make a nice darker green. And let's just put something on this one right here. Maybe cut this one across this way. Grab some yellow to brighten that up a little bit. Let's do another one. Maybe this one comes right here. And it cuts across this way. Take some yellow. Yeah. That's all we're looking for. You see, we're just looking for stuff like that. We're just adding stems. Now there's a flower that sits back here. So let's pull a stem. Take a little yellow. So all I'm doing is pulling lines. Now this one that's really close to this big flower right here. Let's make sure we put a nice fat one right there. And let's just keep moving along. Here's another little one. Let's add a little something. Pull it in this direction. Grab a little yellow. And like I said, this one is it's a lot of stuff going on. So I really appreciate anyone who's challenging themselves with this particular painting. Because what you want to do sometimes is go for easy stuff. But then you want to go for challenging things as well. So you can test your ability. There you go. Put that over there. Now what we want to do is we're going to take some blue. I'm going to switch brushes for this next one. Because I want a little bit of a fatter. This brush, this nice flat brush. We're going to take some yellow. Mix it in here with some blue. Get a nice green going. Now we're just going to pull in some, some grass stuff. Stuff that's just like, just grass. Take some yellow. I like this a little bit. There, a little fat grass blade right there. Grab another set. Since we have this blue, let's make it work for us. Come over here, pull a grass blade that goes like that. Just pulling grass blades, just to give some groundwork to the painting and come over here pull a grass blade maybe that comes across the two of these pull this way like that maybe there's another little one that's right here now these are just some things that are sticking up along with okay let me take some yellow here pull something that comes off over here over here, just gonna pull something. Maybe it comes across over here. There. Okay, that's good enough for me. Now you can do this all day long, but again, we're gonna just get to the painting now. So we, we made some activity that's going on down here. We've given ourselves some indication that there's a lot of different stems and grasses that are growing. So now we're gonna peel off our peels and start our painting. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start removing some of the peels, okay? So let's just go up here. You just grab the spatula up around the neck area and you can use any one of these corners. Heck, you could even use this in the back because all we wanna do is just dig in, get something lifted, peel away, so we can see the shape of our flowers. Some of them are actually two flowers like this one that are kind of together. Some of them will stay in the white, but you got the idea of the shape, which is really all we need. Come over here. I'm just gonna peel them all off. So you can see them. We left off one there. Okay, that's cool. Let's just make a little stem that comes here. Stop right there and just come across over here with that. That's fine. And then we got this little one here. Okay. And 
this last set. There. So we got one. This is actually two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the fun part begins. So now we're just going to take this brush, a little bit of yellow, take a little bit of orange, lighten it up a little bit. Because what I want to do first is block in all of the ones that are orange and all of the ones that are purple. Because that's the only two colors we're actually going to be using. So let's just go here. And I'm going to leave the dimple in the middle, but I'm going to follow the edge. Let's add a little bit more yellow to that. Just to lighten it up. Come across here and here. Just block this in. Now we're just going to be painting in the shape to get the start of each of our flowers so we'll know where they are and the picture will start to make more sense to you when you can actually see more of what's going on. So by putting in the coloration, we'll start to help you develop a better sense of where you're going and why we're doing what we're doing. This one I'm gonna make a little bit darker. I'm gonna add that right into the middle. See that? See that darker, lighter? Just gonna keep going around like that until we get it all together. Let's do some more yellow ones, I mean orange ones. Now these are two. One of them is in the front. So I'm gonna leave this flower as the purple. So I'm gonna make a line right here. See, to cut off the shape to separate the two of them. And then in here, I'm just gonna make this a light coloration. Just gonna block it into the line. Leave in the middle. Just like we did the one at the top. Just gonna quickly block this in. There. And then I'll take a little bit of the darker value. Now add that into the middle. Inside here. And that'll act as the inside of that one. Remember, this is purple, so I'm gonna be leaving that one alone. Let's see, we left off on this one again. Let me just take this off real fast. There. And let's make that one also an orange or yellowish color. So take this coloration. We're just going to paint this whole bulb right here. Slowly but surely, this picture is going to build up. It's really a simple, easy painting. It's just a lot of bulbs and the step of making the background. Now here's another two. So we're gonna make this one purple. So let's take a little orange, a little yellow, lighten it up. And we're gonna cut this one off. So let's take and just go continually around like that. That makes this flower. Now we're just gonna paint this whole thing a nice light color. This is a fun painting. It's really a lot of fun. It's, it's not challenging. It's almost like a coloring book format to me where you, you just gotta you just gotta take your time and block in the basic coloration and then come back and add values to each of these flowers. So it's a nice project if you got a little time on your hands and you just want to be creative because it's really a beautiful beautiful painting. It's really an easy painting too. Now this one, we're going to leave just like that. We got the three points. We got that one. We got these two started. We're going to do these two right here and then everything else we're going to make purple. So let's just keep going. Let's just paint this whole bulb right here. A nice light color. 
Okay. There. And then let's take this one and paint one more right back in here. Just follow the contour. The, the peel off gives you the shape. You definitely want to make sure you have your, your background color so that you can easily see. But you should be able to make it out. No problem. There you go. So all of the ones that we have here that are going to be yellow are fine. Now let's do the purple ones. Now purple is one of those colors that actually requires a lot of layers. So this actually works out to be a very good painting for that. And to show you what I mean, we're just going to take some straight purple. And we're just going to start painting this one. Again, we're going to come right to the edge here, follow this along. I'm going to purposely leave a little white, so I'm just going to cut right down in here, leave that open for a second, just so I could define the tip of this purple flower. And then I'm just going to paint it in. And I'm actually going to leave the white open right there and bring this line a little closer so it looks like it's a, a petal over here. And I'm just going to block a little color here and I'm going to leave that one just like that. We're going to do another one down here. So we're going to take the purple, straight purple. I'm just going to paint along the edge here. Okay. Then, right here, I'm going to cut in, leaving this part white. See, like that. I'm just being artsy now because I want to have the painting help me. You could always go back and add white, but why when you have white right there already? Then I'm going to paint this one almost finished, and I'm going to leave it open like so. And I'm going to leave that one like that. Now these are two. We're going to come back to that in a second. Let's make this one. We're going to make this one with three dimples at the top. So here I'm going to do the first one. I'm going to come across like that. Then I'm going to paint all of this. Cut across here like that. Go to the outside like this. Come in like this. See? See how I defined that, that pattern, that, that shape? I'm just going to add some dark values in the middle of here. Bring this line a little closer. This one. And call this one done. For now. You're coming back on all of them. I'm just trying to show you how you can pick up really fast. Get it in here. Now these are two, so why don't we do this one over here first. So for this one, we're just going to paint like along the edge. And you know how we left stuff open on the last one? Not this one. We're still going to define the shape of this one. See how it's separated? And then here I'm just going to fill all of this in. This purple tulip is behind that one. Now I'm going to come with some fresh purple. And I'm going to cut a dark line so I could define where the two of them are, like that. See how that darker line pushes that one back? And then I'm just going to come in here and start to break it up. Maybe this one goes like this. Comes down to the edge here. Fill in some of this. Leave a little bit of white open right there. Come over here. And bring another one around over here. Just kind of creating petals. And I'm going to darken in the inside of this. Leave a little white opening like that. That's good. And then I'm going to come around here. And paint the other edge. Now for those of you 
who want to paint this really simple and really easy, you could stop right here and you'd have yourself a very nice, very finished painting. I'm going to work on the purple before I go to the orange. I'm going to put a darker value of purple on and I'm going to show you how you could take it up by just adding another layer. So let's go to this one over here. Let's just add a dark value along the edges. See? Show you another one. Remember where we made that petal right here? So let's cut it again with a dark value right here. Strong value here. And then run that right up along the edge. And I'm going to purposely leave this center part again alone. Just add some dark value here. And we're going to come back a third time. But you see how the difference between this bulb and these are? And all I did was take the brush with a dark value, run it along the edge, leaving the area white, that's white. And come right along this edge to create another petal. Put a little dark value here. And maybe right underneath over here. And I'm going to stop there. See? And that's how you create a dimensional look. And you can keep adding and adding and adding. So I'm just going to show you another one. Let's go to this one over here. Put a dark value right along the edge. I've already defined that this is a petal here, so let's make this dark. See that? And go right all over here. Make this dark. Do the edge over here. Leaving it white. And boom. Look at those three compared to this one. So you already know what to do here. For this one, we already said this one is not going to have any white to it so we could just make this all dark and then come to the edge redefine that line again redefine this petal again pushing some dark value along the middle of this one let it feather itself out soften this up a little bit Okay, see how it's starting to pop? And this you can do repeatedly over and over and over. This is one of the things I like about this project. Yeah, it's a little time consuming. It's not as quick. But when you put the work in and you take your time with it, you can build this up to really be as beautiful as you want it to be. And the same technique we used, you could take the orange, in the yellow, making a nice stronger orange yellow. And let's just go back to this one. I'm just going to define this petal over here by coming straight down like that. See what that line did? And then I'm going to take some orange and yellow and I'm going to pull some little lines right at the, at the base like this. Maybe along the edges. And take some of that richer orange by itself. And go right into this middle one. There. Look how cool that looks. We're going to come back and add another value there. It's all about going in. Adding dark values where you've established a dark. You could take right here and create a petal. By simply doing that, you can add dark colors at the base, like here, and it starts to strengthen up. Let me show you this one. This will, this will help you more definitively. Because this one is just a line. We're just going to draw a line right in the middle, like that. That separates two petals. One that's getting ready to pop open. And then right along the bottom... I'm just going to add some of that dark color with lines like that. 
And look how different that looks. Let's do this one. Again, we could just take and put a line right down here and a line that comes around over here. And now you've got three. So what do you do with those? You take a little color along the edge. You pull a little color towards the base. You do the same thing with this base. And the same thing with this one. You can run some color up along here to smooth this out. And now you've given this flower dimension. These two, same thing. I'm not doing anything magical. Nothing different from the purple or the orange other than using values. Put a little color in here, a little color towards the base. You could add a little to the edges if you want. Define. This one is off camera, so we could just make it up as we go. We just add a little value down here. Maybe there's some color that runs up here. Maybe there is a separation here. Maybe there's a dark thing right there, but there. You see that? You see how quick and easy that was? We'll do a couple more on the purple again. Because some of them have dried a little bit. And I love it when we go around the painting, letting things dry, adding color to it. So here, let's take some of this purple straight. No mixture. Do the same thing we did the first time. Go along the edge. The color on top of the color is just going to get darker as it dries and allows you to glaze, as they call it. It's a technique, actually. And you just add that value. See? Richer and richer. And this is what I mean about the purple. The purple especially needs your patience and your attention. Because purple is one of those colors you got to layer a lot to really get it rich. But you see how much it's... The darker these are getting versus these. I'm going to do a couple more and then we're going to call this painting finished. And you're going to determine when you stop. How many times you go over things to richen the color up or add some subtle nuances. Because that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything except switching between the purple, the yellow, and the orange. This one I'm going to leave alone. Start here right here in the middle so you can really see. How that pops. How that pops this bulb. You see that? And that's all there is to it. And I hope you had fun. I know I did. You can continually go in between. I, I would clean the brush and do some of the orange again. Then clean the brush and do some of the purple again. Because the more values you add... The stronger and better looking this picture will become. See how that orange is just getting stronger and stronger. And each time you pass a little color. See, I'm not even spending a lot of time on it. I could just add a little tiny touches of color here or there. And it's going to automatically add to the beauty of what you've already created. So you don't really have to spend a lot of time, but take your time. Have some fun. Let the colors work for you. Well, that's the end of this painting. I hope you had fun. I look forward to painting with you again. And until the next time, take care.